What is happening, everybody? It is the Windy City Trials. We're doing in-person commentary, and I'm here with Matt Carey. What's up, Matt? Hello there, Internet Land. It's uh, good to be here. Yeah, it is. I feel like we're doing like golf commentary right now. It's great. <laughs> yeah, man, so uh, this is an official event, uh, and we are, we're just underway. We'll get to the list and the betting and everything. I'll even open up betting early for you guys, but we'll kind of set the stage for you all. We've done three unofficial Windy City Trials in the past, starting in uh, 2022. Matt, you won the first two. Yes. And then <laughs> you sat out. Or no, you, you played the, the played, third one. You did I play the third one. with the deal that I could not win. That you could not win, yeah. And uh, Matt, like, you didn't try to lose, but you just didn't win enough to I make did, it to I final. Did. Marcel came in for one round, played, beat me, and then left the tournament. Right, very, yeah. Very kind of him just to dunk on my dreams. Yeah, so... Uh, and then uh, Tyler Giebel hasn't won that one. So um, that was uh, those were all extended. Of course, now this is an official event. So that means a world's invites on the line. So we've got four rounds of Swiss for you guys today, as well as a final matchup to determine the winner of the world's invite. Betting is open. I want everybody to get their bets in. I forgot to reset the loyalty. And I, you know what? I'm still going to do it. But I'm going to give everybody a thousand uh a thousand credits okay so add points to all viewers you will all get a thousand just give it a second it's gonna it might take 30 seconds or so for that to show up in your little online virtual balance of fake money uh let's break down the list though we got tim and john we've got scum versus first order uh which list do you want to take I'll, I'll take the the scum Tim's cool. list. all right go all for right. it so in the jump master 5000 we have dangar with fearless rito Contraband Cybernetics, Punishing One, and R5P8. And then we have two Y Wings, but let's go over uh, the I5 one, which is Lee Makai. Sorry, I am hiding something from you right now. How dare you? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Lee Makai with Magpulse Warheads and Concussion Bombs. And then I'm going to jump down to the other Y Wing before I get back to sure. uh, Boss. But uh, hey, there we go. Uh, Arliz Hadrassian has cluster missiles, R3 astromech, and seismic charges. So uh, we've got two bomb threats on that side of the board. And then in the Z95, we have Bosk, who is marksmanship and dead man switch. I believe Bosk is in reserves right now, uh, docked in the no, YV666. And then, uh, speaking of the YV666, <laughs> uh, Dr. Afra is running with Lando Calrissian, IG-88D, Crew, Garsax, and Gunner, Overtune Modulators, Babu Frick, and the Hound's Tooth Title, which is what allows Boss to, to hang out. And yeah, that's a lot of beef. That's yeah. a lot of point. It's a, a lot of hit points there. And you got your I-6 and Dengar, the double tapping. Could be quite menacing. Uh, and I'll quickly break down the first order list. We've got John playing uh, Wylo. Wylo down to five points now. He's got Malice, Concussion Missiles, Pattern Analyzer, and Enhanced Jamming Suite, of course. We've got Scorch in the Bomber with Concussion Missiles and Bomblet Generator. Gideon Hask in the Zy Shuttle, or Z Shuttle, however we say it. Fanatical, Proud Tradition, Biohexcript Codes, Agent Terex, and Tactical Officer. We've got the Commander Malaris with Cluster Missiles, the Staple, and Blackout. I will reorder the overlay here as the right side seems a little out of order with Initiative. Blackout with Trick Shot. Uh, advanced optics, sensor scramblers, and sensitive controls. So let's move the fives up over the fours. That would make sense. Cool. And let's get back to the OBS. Cool. And I'll hide the cards. Perfect. All right, now we can see what's going on again. Perfect, and I can be full screen as well. So I think we're heading into the second round, Matt. You yes. don't mind updating that for me. Matt is doing the pl he's he's got the honor yeah. of helping me with the overlay. Uh, it does look like we're in the planning phase, so I will. We are increase in it to the round two. planning phase, and uh, here we are. What's up, everybody? This is uh, this is so exciting. I I'm really really happy to be here. Thanks for making the trip, man. Um, you guys helped us be able to do this so i just really want to thank you all very much for backing us and supporting our dream of being able to do probably the best in-person commentary it, it, it is a probably like, your your the the stream camera is probably the best looking 
in person screen camera. It's the so Sony's make some great cameras for streaming. I have to say, so there we have our players, and Tim has that power stance. I mean, if Tim doesn't win he's with that the, power stance, he's got the height advantage right now. Yeah, he's got I, the high ground, <laughs> artificial high ground, but it's but still the high ground. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up the chat here because I can't see it right now. You should be able to see it. But uh, yeah, so uh, you see that blackout. Uh, it's nice to see that him and the silencer back. He went down a little bit in price and allows him to be taken. He's got sensor scrambler, so he's a little cloaked at the moment. Uh, otherwise, he'd be kind of in Gideon Hess's way, but he doesn't really have to worry about that. He can either sh you know just uh, decloak to his left, or he can just stay cloaked and move forward and just kind of take a scramble action while, you know, sitting on five green dice. I imagine we'll see Afra probably just do a one forward and claim that objective while Dengar protects her, her flank. And then uh, you have the two Y-wings up top that looks like there was a concussion bomb dropped way up there. Yeah, I... Tim was telling me that he's playing on dropping a bomb on our Lees because our Lees get to do some sort of combo with crits. I don't. We can take a look at the card here in a second. I'm uh, just pulling you, up the I chat. I think it's if you're damaged. Oh. Matt's gonna look it up. I'm going to look it up. All right. So we are in planning right now. Again, betting is open. I did reset loyalty, so might take a moment. Everyone that was just that tuned in uh, when I reset it just got a thousand credits. If you or late, th welcome. Uh, however, just keep watching for a few minutes. Uh, there's a probably 12, 15 minutes left in betting, and you will be able to bet whatever you get for watching. Just be patient. We'll get there. Don't you worry. All right. So Arliz Hadrassian's ability is while you perform a front arc attack, if you are damaged, you may change one of your eyeball results to a crit result. Uh, however, that comes with a downside that while you defend, if you are damaged, before the modified die step, you must change one of your eyeball results to a blank result. So basically, you weren't relying on your, your Y-Wing to be defensive anyway. Yeah. So it's, the daddy. it makes it less defensive while being it more offensive, but marginally less defensive. So, uh, and with the uh, cluster missiles, that means you get soft mods. You have the, the target lock, so you get two lock, lock attacks, and then so you could spend it on both cluster missiles, but then also you have a soft focus mod for both of, both of those. And it's not just a eyeball into a hit, it's an eyeball to a crit on both of them. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get Matt's chat pulled up. The chat pulled up. Also, can you guys hear us okay? Is, uh, is Matt and I around the same level? I just wanna make sure we do any tweaks early. So it's the perfect, as close, close to perfect. I try to get as close to perfect as we can get. Right, here we go. We got that system phase boost. Yeah, I think that that is exactly what that was. No, no yeah, yeah, because he has not revealed a dial. Oh, and here comes the blackout decloak. So, uh, what what happened when you played John on stream last time, man? Uh, he beat me. He <laughs> absolutely roasted my. You played Zeker. Ray, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, it was Ray, Ray Zay, Lulo, and. Um, and Kaz and both Zay and Kaz got absolutely roasted. Uh, PS killed by a bunch of first order, and then it was Ray and Lulo versus the world, and then Ray just burned down to a bunch of shots. Yeah, he, it, and it was it was at this this not this particular tournament, but the three one two Windy City Trials. Yeah, uh, looks like chat says I am slightly quieter than you. Okay. Cool. All right, let's adjust Matt's gain then. Keep talking, Matt. Okay, so how does the gain sound to the chat now? That should be better. Matt should yeah. be a little bit louder for you guys. Indeed. I Indeed. also thought you were with fire. You know, maybe I'm just soft-spoken. All right. Looks like I have real chat now. All right. Let me 
whatever you want to do. We have a. Uh, Here's goes, here comes Bosk. He's Bosk going. launching. Yeah, he is deploying out there. Yep. Facing down the bomber. Uh, we just did. We just see one straight there from. Oh no, this is no, system no, phase yeah, stuff. It's still, still system phase. Yeah. Still deploying is in the system phase. So, do you guys think Matt is better now with volume? Feedback's always appreciated. Do you just think Matt's better in general? Yeah. Every time I played you, you have beat me. I think four times. I'm 0-4 against you, including a, pra a little casual game where I <laughs> had Ezra yeah. get one shot at range three with an evade and a force. Yeah, that, that was <laughs> absurd. Like, I think I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that game, you were like, yeah, let's play one more round and... Then it, that next round didn't go too great, great either. Hey, Emperor Canaries. Emperor's, Emperor's Canaries. Yeah. Thank you for following us here. We are close to 850 followers. I would love to, by the end of this circuit, to get to 900. I think while we, when we continue to do a ton of in-person coverage like this, we will get there. So, again, tell your friends. Tell people, hey, the new meta is live. It looks good, stream quality, and the commentators are beautiful, sexy people, and <laughs> you should all be here. So it, it Ooh, looks, a little bumper -uski. Yeah. Uh, so aggressive. Tim took a very interesting. Oh, got a little bumpy there. Yeah, that's the. Yeah, that's the FO bomber effect, right? That is the fury of the first <laughs> order. <laughs> it's very furious. Um, so the. Uh, since Bosk, when he deploys, that's when he takes his perform action step. He was able to claim the objective and effectively block the 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 tie bomber. Yeah. Let's see if I can listen in on the players here. Let's make sure this works. Just want to make sure. And, and I didn't want to scoot it without your. No, oh no. So helpful that we have that. So we have the players actually mic'd up for us too. Yeah. So if we're ever like, what the hell's going on? We yeah. can just uh, unmute their mics. So uh, Tim has. Uh, claim the, f the the middle objective with Bosk and cla claim the bottom left objective with Afra, and then John was able to take the top right objective with Gideon Hask. And then everybody else is going to be in punch mode, going to take their actions for for real. Yep, I'm trying to flip the uh, colors for us. So Tim is actually blue. You guys are wondering that scramble point in the center there, trying to. Oh, I see what you're talking about. It's not. Why isn't it working? Let's see. Might be because there's two of these. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Right, we got Arliz coming in hot. He's gonna. There we go. Take a double target lock. So l let me adjust damage on Arliz because she did take a. Uh, Thank you. A concussion bomb. So then it goes to your fives, okay? We will start here. All right, so now we have Blackout doing a two straight. Indeed. Oh, it sounds like you are loud enough now. Okay, good. good, good. <laughs> we're just guessing at this point, but I think, I think we're good. Blackout. Uh, Taking, I I get it, but also that puts him in range of the cluster missile that he uh, just got target locked from Arliz on. So, not not one hundred percent on that. Yeah. Now we have uh, Malaris sneaking in. Probably going to take a lock for the the cluster missiles as well. Won't be able to, you know double tap with it but looks to be range two so we'll yeah there you go range two we'll get the the three die attack on the bosk bosk may may die this round but bosk is two points so I, I don't know that tim is super worried about that yeah and looks like scramble points right now it's gonna be two to tim uh yeah yeah tim does have that bottom left one i, I, I lost that bottom one for a second i couldn't yeah. see it Stuff on the back end. Transform. Trying to flip 
the other one. Here we go. Then we got Lima coming around. Probably not going to be able to get anything done this turn, but out of harm's way. But next turn will be set up really well to trigger her ability, which is if she's not in the front arc of a of an enemy ship, she gets to sh choose a ship in her full front arc to acquire lock-on. So it'll be, uh, she'll probably get a double modded mag pulse into somebody next round. And then we got Mr. Dengar two banking in. Uh, not super big boy. fast. Uh, hard to tell if Dengar has the angle on Scorch right now. Uh, probably has Kylo at range three though, so yeah, would that be obs uh, unobstructed? It seems. Yeah, that I back think corner so. is I behind. So. Yeah, uh, take it a focus. Take it a focus, and he's got the R five P eight re rolls. If he and he, he doesn't have to spend the focus, he can. Um, Kylo won't get that yep. extra sensor scrambler die. And Agent Terex is going to pass that calculate yeah. on over to Blackout. And and Dengar first. Checking, I think just obstruction there. Unobstructed three is what's unobstructed three, three. So you're gonna get unobstructed. four. So he's checking. Tim's checking his options here. Uh, he doesn't have. I think he could also take a shot at Malaris, but that would be obstructed. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't look like Malaris triggered their ability. Uh, Greedo first, and I will. So he's Greedoing first. Just do that. Here. Okay. Just oh, two just, crits. Yep. Gonna leave it. Leave it. And see where. Oh, that's uh, you spend the evade, and unfortunately, Kylo takes the shield. Still taking a shield there. Not setting the tone like that uh, with a poor roll. What do you think you should easily get at, especially with just two coming through? That that's rough. Somebody spending a charge can't really tell who at the moment. I'll spend the lock. Ah, Sorry, guys. Dice two there hits. Go. Awesome. Two. Let's do. Blanksies. I think that was blackout into into boss. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. All right. Uh, then we'll do blackout. Oh no. Are Black. we? Oh, one that was Malaris. Malaris and the boss. Malaris with the missile. That's right. Okay. So here is blackout shot. Boss on two again. Only two points, so Tim's not super upset if he loses him. However, uh, I'll spend the calc for three hits. Sure. That's going to be three. Boss will go down. Okay, he dies. Uh, so dead man switch. Yeah. Dead man okay. switch. Um, so it's going to be one on Afra, and then one on Scorch, yep. and then and one on Blackout. One on Blackout. Man, he. That's almost, a good dead man. I was going to say he almost did more work in dying. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't a bad call because you got a lot of damage into, like, your YB666 takes one damage. You're not super sad, but you got a damage on a six health ship and another six health ship that's got three agility. I gave Matt some points he could use. Oh, okay, that. okay. He's gonna still say, a bet, man. Re reset everybody else's points, but not mine. You. Range one into off. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got a range one from Scorch into Afra. Uh, probably not, not a great roll. Focus. I would not spend focus. Um, I'm going to leave it at nothing. Sure. Yeah. Um, Gideon, I don't think, is going to have a shot on any. Well, he might have Arlo. We got Gideon yeah. does reach the, out to Arlo's here Arles. at range three. Just a primary here, two dice. Gideon is, is here for the support. He is not here to. I mean, he he's the tanky one, though. He's got a bit of health, so. And he's cheap. So yeah. Good piece for the first order. Looks like that was cocked, and we will re-roll nicely yep. into innovate. So yep. that dodgy Y-wing yes. taking no damage. All right. So prob there's a decent chance that he's going to spend the uh, a cluster missile to fire three here at Kyla. Or not Kyla. Yeah. At Blackout here. Yeah, blackout. That is exactly what we get. So I have... You can change yeah, one Harley's. to a crit. Now turn it up. I'll spend the law. Not, no, don't spend it on the 
hit. Excuse me, that was that was a hit yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the stream goes crazy. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? And then okay. soft mod that to so a crit with uh, Arliss's good. ability. Uh, that's my lock. This one's yours. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> well, two hits to the crit here from Arliss into blackout. Blackout. Uh, uh, spend um, that calculate. I, will spend cal. the calc. I think he sure. spent that on offense. Okay then, um, so we have Bah. Not 100%. I'll be right back. Yeah. Nick's going to get that fixed at the moment. And, uh... Okay, so that was correct. Blackout takes one, is now shieldless. Um, so you're both at range one, so I'm not going to get my little four dice effect. Um, I am going to do the range one into blackout. blackout. So I'm going to roll four here. dice. Range one into blackout with four dice. Afra. That's Ooh. pretty nasty. Yeah. And you spend, is that a focus yeah, spend? Yeah, a calculate. Account. Oh, man. Blank out. that is blackout gone. That is, yes, blackout that is a big swing here as Tim gets claws back five points. Oh, blackout is blackout six? Is that what I'm seeing? Blackout's five. Okay. My eyes deceive me, even to full screen. I'm still yeah. blind. So five to two before the scenario points are going to be tallied here. And uh, two ships removed, one on each side. But blackout is a high initiative ace you just did not expect to lose this early however john being very aggressive uh with his ships i mean putting everybody up the middle yeah that that dead man switch really with especially with the blackout going out really put some work in there yeah as we head into uh, round three we're cleaning up here for the assist so, uh, just a reminder, you guys. It's a world's invite on the line. Here it is. I love that. Oh, there you go. We've got our autofocus. It, it focused trying. for a second. It's really now, trying. We're now it's hold like it here. focusing on you for some reason. <laughs> oh, I believe in this camera. Come on. Or maybe if I hold it up really up close. It seems to... There, there it is. You go. There it is. Do you have what it takes to be an ace? I wonder who that pilot's supposed to be. can't take on the whole empire himself. Pilots needed. This is the world's invite. Yeah. So. Chat, any guesses on who the pilot was on that card? Hmm. Again, I'll uh, show you guys. Looks like a resistance pilot. Oh, it's so cool. There you go. Perhaps a rebel pilot. Really hard to tell. It is. Cool. I feel like it's resistance based on the helmet design. Yeah, that was the, that's what led me to it. Yeah, all the Empire players for sword players are very angry. Like, wow, where's my representation? We're the bad guys. Are we the baddies? <laughs> are we the baddies? All right. So plenty of time left here. Let's talk about how John can rebound from... Uh, I mean, this is... I feel like... This is what separates, uh, you know, the average X-Wing player from a good X-Wing player is how you rebound for moments like that, um, especially from what John could consider to be maybe a mistake, being very aggressive with Blackout. You never really know, but taking range one shots with anything uh, is always a re potential recipe for disaster, as we see 7-3 to three lead here for Tim. So what do you think uh, John could do here? I think if you could burn down Afra or Dangar, they're both six points, which is that is really cheap for uh, what they're going to put out in in damage. Um, it, but if you could burn down Afra uh, with because Kylo can come in, he can focus and jam, so get rid of any defensive tokens that Afra will have. Um, the the big problem right there is scorches in the way, and I don't know what's going to happen there. There we have the road roll. Looks like John will be going first this round. Um, however, Scorch 
would have had an opportunity to boost and get out of there, but he can't because he's stressed from the bump. So looks like Afro is doing a zero stop and getting stressed. Is stressed and strained. Does Afro have contraband? I do not believe. Well, uh, is that an over? Uh, where's the calc from? Is that that's IG? IG's calc? Uh, oh, it was, it was so he Babu fricked. He, mm. he threw the, the, sure. the, the stress on to Babu Frick. That makes Do you sense. like Babu? I tried to use Babu. I feel like maybe just on the Razor Crest is not as good. I don't know. I, th I think he got cheaper, perhaps. So Oscar, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. We do have sub goals today, guys. We'll talk about that later. Anyways, Matt, yeah. go ahead. I, I think um, uh, Babu may have gotten cheaper recently, so that may make it worth it. I do not know off the top of my head, truly. Yeah, I just I found it that with how bad the Razor Crest style was, I yeah. put myself in positions where I would be double stressed or stress strained yeah. in, in, a, in the mid game or end game. Yeah. It looks like John may have just missed the, the asteroid. Sure, this is yeah, he did. Uh, still stressed though at range one of Afra, but that doesn't feel good. But at least you'll have a shot at somebody. Oh yeah, uh, that's the target lock there. Gideon going to two straight. Uh, Getting in the fray. Looks like he may be committing onto Afra. We got a scramble there as yep, well. Yep. Pick up that objective because not a good chance that uh, Tim's going to come in and grab that objective. It's probably just going to double target lock here with Arliz. Yep. That, that looks like what he's going. Going to R3 Astromech to get a target lock onto. Gideon and then probably Malaris. Yeah, there it is. Oh, uh, on to Kylo. Looks like he has range for that. Yeah, uh, R three one two astromech. Yeah, R three one two. I would definitely. Uh, that's actually one of my favorite L tarts that you have uh, that you've produced. Very proud of it. All right, we have Malaris doing a four K. Uh, I question that. I don't, I'm not certain what the. The reasoning it was in there, but uh, Afra is going to have her her choice of targets. Can either light up Scorch or light up Malaris. Then we'll have Kylo come in. Let's feel better, Andrew. Feel A lot of our locals dropped for this event. We have two, three. With three, three, one, two guys, a couple of newer players that have been playing at our alt uh, store, uh, Spellbound, Spellbound games. Uh, so you know, good. We got good uh, area representation. We always yeah. get people from all over the state, you know, neighboring states, which is great. Yeah. All right, uh, Lima probably won't get her ability to trigger uh, because she's probably in Kylo's arc. So could either just focus or target lock. You're kind of happy as Tim either way. You're not going to be taking too many shots. There you go. Target lock on Kylo. He's going to get his extra dice anyway. Wait, what now? Oh, uh, I'm just forgetting your target. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I'm in this lock. It's, oh. a, it's irrelevant. Gotcha. Okay. It's irrelevant. Um, what are yeah, we Yeah, I guess we're just about? shooting at Kylo. Oh, yeah. Just doubling he's down just on that one. Making sure that he's targeting Kylo. I got to say, Matt, being able to listen in at any point is just. Yeah. In, yeah. It's just invaluable. That's yeah, so to figure helpful. out what they're, what they're thinking. All right, we got Dangar going to have great shots on either Malaris or Scorch. Take your pick. Mal has one charge left, I believe, because we popped it during the cluster missile last turn. Uh, did not, in fact. Oh, okay. That's why I uh, was able to do the 4K this turn. Uh, questionable, but... Uh, yeah, right there for uh, Dr. Afra. Dr. Afra could potentially be the MVP of this game. Yeah. The finisher. At, uh, at I3 in that party bus. There we have Gideon uh, tossing a focus to Scorch. This will be public soon. Thank you for calling that out. Uh, I am playing TO, Judge, uh, and Marshall, and uh, Streamer. Malaris uh, proccing her ability, so getting double stressed, but trying to stay alive. So I think with that, you go with Dengar and Afra into Scorch. Since Scorch has a shield down already. Jesus. Um, spend and Hot then Greedo. Dice. Yep. Uh, spend some focus and Greedo. Uh, spending that Gideon has calculate that was tossed over. Only taking one shield. Yep. 
Wylo is down to just the three hole. Uh, that was um, that right. was into scorch. Oh, into scorch. Got it. Got it. So I apologize. Wylo is down to three hole and a shield still. <laughs> This is, I believe, Kylo taking a shot. Concussion oh. missiles. There you go. A lot better. All right. So Malice. Hit, hit, hit crit. Or hit crit crit. Uh, deals. Shield. Um, Just concussion. The each ship within zero to one of uh, Arliss flips a uh, flips a damage card. Flips a damage card or yep. gains a damage card? Uh, flips a damage card. Yeah, so but I don't it's... have any damage cards. Uh, do you yeah. have, don't you have a face down one from the... Face no, no, no. Oh, uh, oh. so yes, you would yep. flip this one. Okay, panic pilot. Okay. Arlie's gains a panic, panic pilot, pilot with the concussion yep. missile effect. Yep. Concussion. Uh, he intentionally damaged himself to, to trigger the ability, but then panic pilot himself. Yep. Gain two stress tokens and repair. That is uh, one of the, the most hindering crits, although they're all yeah. hindering in different ways, but that's yeah. a brutal one. Yeah. Okay, right. into Kylo. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we got Lee Makai in the Kylo with a wow. Jesus Christ. Okay. Tim Mag saying Mag Jesus Christ right. initially on that roll. Nice. Oh, but, but, but natty. Know, natties for natties. <laughs> so the impulse didn't do anything. So you're fours now. So so go to the fours, which would be Scorch and Gideon. Let's see, uh, that Scorch range one obstructed into Arliss. Not in the box. There we go. Back in the box. And then, so it does two damage. So Arla is down two more hole. Thank you, Matt. Down the three. Sorry, fixing a command for the Windy City Trials because we're no longer doing signups. We're playing it right now. All right, so Hask is probably shooting range two into uh, Dr. Afra. There we go. Two dice. Hey, two hits. Uh, and just, oh, he had a strain. I was like, just takes it? He did just take it because that's how that works. Two. So it's the Dr. Afra down shields. I, it's two. It is two. Okay. Just checking. All right. Um, they were just double checking range. So now sure. I'm going to shoot a my uh, cluster missile All right, so into uh, Malaris. Wait. I tried to put some oh. Yeah, we'll shoot at a, uh, we'll shoot at a uh, Gideon Hask first. All right, Arliss into okay. Gideon first, so the first with a cluster one, missile. I'll spend the, I'll spend the, I'm not gonna have any other actions for the rest of the game, so. <laughs> Spending uh, the lock, and then hit. soft ability that should be a crit. There he is. So that's one shield into Gideon, and then most likely a cluster missile into yep. Kylo as well. Oh, oh there you go. my who, gosh. Who needs mods even? Oh my gosh. He's double checking to make sure he doesn't get to change that to a, a crit. Oh my gosh, that is, is it. That is another double. Uh, that's another blank out by. Okay, so Kylo might not go Next. down. And direct, which direct. is. Oh, yeah. direct. He's off. gone. Sucks. Wow. And that. That's uh, 12. Yeah, that's yep. going to put Tim up to 12 to 3. I'm sorry. Oh, um, it's uh, when you play a dice game. This is what happens. I know. <laughs> this is when we play a dice game. This is what happens, says John. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. That certainly is a factor in a lot of games these days. All right, then we have Afro's shot, most likely into Scorch. He's uh, gonna re use Lando to reroll two dice and spend the the other calculate for three total. Yeah. After all that, two go through into Scorch here. Two face down damage cards. Scores down to two hole, and honestly, this has just been cleanup crew for Tim right now. Yeah, it is. It is uh, punishing. Uh, punishing one, maybe. Uh, 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 and that's honestly, and that's what Dengar being in a prime position next turn to also really contribute. So, uh, just to look at the the one bright side, uh, John did get two scenario points. Two that to time. five. Yeah. Uh, As we head to round four now, I believe, correct? Yes, and, uh, just that. Remember the points, but not the. Oh, yeah. I mean, and as we noted before, he has the high ground. So why is uh, why is John even trying? You know, he's a. Oh, 
out, we have the uh, four-fifths of the Chicago flag showing there. We tried to put it up on the wall, but... Uh, yeah, we put the Warhammer thing back up. It looked yeah. really bad, guys. Uh, yeah, we have, we have John Warhammer in the background. Uh, I believe that is his canonical name. John Warhammer. Yep. yep. Um, I'm going to pass out some table prizes, Matt. Uh, take it away. Okay, I can talk. Um, this is to unmute the players if you need it. Right here. Okay. Player unmute. Yeah. I'll be right back, guys. Right on. Yeah, Air Knight. You can definitely say he can. You can at least l lean on the man dice sucked because uh, Kylo dying to just two shots is uh, unlikely, to say the least. Uh, if Dangar fires a cluster missile, is he pun punishing two? Uh, he can punish two with his punishing one. I get where you're going there. So, Afra might go fast just to get out of Dangar's way. Either way, at this point, I don't think you mind Dangar just running into somebody. You're just like, ah, whatever. He hasn't taken a shot the entire game. Into him, that is. And, yeah, you're fine. You've got the R5P8 for a passive mod and Greedo for a passive mod. And Fearless as well, if somebody happens to be in your front arc. Or you happen to be in their front arc. But, uh, yeah, I think this is well in yeah. Tim's hands. So, yeah, I would uh, two straight or three bank with Afra. You're going to have arc on somebody. You're moving first. You can get in uh, Malars' way, who isn't going to be taking an action next turn anyway. Scorch might drop a bomb. He's got bomblet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, have that to deal with, but it's not super bad. Alright, we got our Liz dropping a bomb. I didn't even think about the Y Wings. They're bombers, too. Oh, got a little bit of a sliding around there. There you go. <laughs> and then clip the, the tie bomber. Uh, it's a game of precision. Game of millimeters. Alright, and uh, Scorch is dropping a bomblet. So we'll get a, a squid of hands in there just to try and drop that bomb. Alright. See if that's it for the. Uh, I think that's it for the systems phase. All right. So, uh, uh, he Bobo fricked again. Uh, did a hard stop with Afro again. Double calculated with IG88D, so Afro is just parking. He's going to eat that bomblet, but again, you're in the I don't really care stage because you, you've got most of the game done. Uh, our Liz just say, you know what, I'm going to try and live. Um, can't take an action, so you just do a white maneuver, stay stressed, and hope that uh, Scorch can't kill you and Mallers didn't come your way. All right, uh, Gideon takes an eye on? I'm not, I'm not certain about that. What did, did I miss? Uh, Gideon took an eye on for some reason, and I don't know why. I don't think he has a crit that would give him one. Oh, he has shields up still. I, I see the shields up. He should, yeah, that, that's my understanding. Yeah, and I'm looking at it on there. So he's. Arliss doesn't have an ability for driving through to did, give it Did he stop? And just he forgot. I mean, he hasn't He hasn't taken a. Because I see the blue yet. dial. Arliss just drove through him, and that's all that happened. Oh, I, is that Tim's dial on John's side right now? Uh, I don't know. 
because they can stop. He might have just like he, put his eye on down. Yeah, he may have put that down instead of a stress. Maybe that's what it was supposed to be. That's fine. I'll just check real quick. Yeah. All right. We got Malaris doing a three straight. Going to clear a stress. Yeah, there it is. Nick. Yeah, well, he did. I think they ran out of stresses, so they just used an eye on in the meantime. Too many panic pilots. All right, Dengar doing a one bank. Going to eat that, that bomb, but uh, again, do you really care? You just got to take a focus. You're going to kill Scorch. Yeah, you, you, you're you're not gonna have a problem. <laughs> they changed it to a stress. That is you. what happens Why when you run out of stress tokens. <laughs> yeah, because Babu has all of them. <laughs> yeah, it was like as you were walking up there, they they uh, they switched. Yeah, switched yeah. it out. Yeah. So we're we're around. Man, I feel like this game's been going on for a while. It's just because so much has evolved in this <laughs> yeah. game. Manfred, good morning. Good morning, Pretty Much. Good morning. Why didn't the FO boost after dropping? I think he was still stressed. He was. He yeah, uh, did a hard three last yeah, turn. Yeah, so he kept the stress from the turn before, yeah. so he was still stressed. It is turn. an action. I cannot do that. I feel like he should, shouldn't be stressed now, though. Uh, isn't it only their straights that are blue? Is it? Oh, it is. Yeah, that dial's wild. Yeah. I think he did a two bank, so. Yeah. And there's a bomb sitting there, too. Yeah, that's going to be a seismic. He's going to eat that. Yeah, there you go. So that'll be one less for Scorch. Uh, we'll blow this one up. Yeah. So gotcha. you'll take damage on Scorch. Yeah. And I'll be out there. All right. Okay. This so is yours. Is that mine? Okay. Scorch, uh, living on a prayer, probably not going to make it through this turn. If they rolled for the bomblet, I did not see it, so I don't know what happened there. I may have been talking to Nick about stress at that point. Yeah, it's a lot to keep track of. Yeah. Uh, this is, yeah, you know, it's one thing setting everything up. It took two and a half hours to set everything up yesterday, actually almost three hours, but this first time setting all this up, but also, uh, you know, once you get back here, there's a lot to keep track of, a lot of moving pieces literally Gideon just took a a shield and a looks like a weapons failure crit for some reason I don't I don't get what's going on here what happened with a mag no 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 that's just fucking stupid uh just a range one Jesus Christ okay uh spend the focus there's the nice sorry guys and another blank okay. out for John Shannon my god and a fuel leak with one hit point remaining. Okay. Fuel leak on so then it's your four? one hole left. And he's got one health left. And a fuel leak. Oh, there's the, the weapons failure. So rolled one, die. Feels bad. Yeah. <laughs> a little blank, too. Afra. Assuming using Gar Saxon to roll an extra die. Uh, just two. Gets an evade. Spends the calc. And Gideon gets to live. Man, Still they, alive. they went lightning through that round. Yeah. they're Both these players seem to be uh, going pretty fast. Maybe not as fast as the Iron Man back carry, but. <laughs> I'm just saying uh, that because I pressure you. Because that. Cause that we, uh, you, we both play pretty fast. Yeah. Let's be honest. We. I remember I was talking to Matt. We were reminiscing over the old times of the, uh, you know, the. I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it, the 2.0 days. Sorry, sorry to all that uh, I offended by saying that. Um, and we were at a tournament in Jonesboro. We all kind of just drove over there, and it was a fun time. But Matt and I met up twice. End of Swiss. He was undefeated. He beat me. I was undefeated at the time. He beat me with he had Vader, Defender, and Rack, and I had two E wings of Luke, and it was a great matchup, a lot of fun. But then we met up again in top four. And at one point, I had was setting a dial, and it had been in probably I want to say it's been it had been like two or three minutes, but there was only a few ships left, you know, on the board. There was like three or four ships, and Matt is like had been waiting a little while because he's got two ships. He's like he knows what he's doing, and he's like, 
all right, Nick, seriously, you gotta you gotta speed it up. And I'm like, and I think back on that, I'm like, yeah, for my standards, that's pretty slow. Yeah. yeah. But compared to what I've experienced, yeah. like, I was still pretty yeah. average. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it may have been established pace of play that you know that was what I was railing against, but it was still probably still good pace of play. But yeah, no, we were fine. I think we ended up playing like eight or nine rounds. Like, yeah, yeah. It, whatever. Yeah. Those were different days. Though. It was just a lot of you, you didn't have to think about as much, right? So. Yeah. Uh, I honestly props to players uh, who go all the way here in these and 2.5 events because of course you play through those four different scenarios two of them have those actions one of them limits your reposition ability yeah it's a lot to track yeah and uh, just the ship count average uh, at, the, at this 14 seven. sorry Four oh yeah I forgot to do Apologies scenarios this interrupting time. no you do you uh, but then um, yeah, the just the average ship count here is five. Uh, it's about like five point three or something like that. There's two two lists that are four ships, and then there's the majority of them are five, and then there's two that are six, and then there is a seven ship CIS list. Yeah, it's the the average ship is probably yeah going to be sitting right there, pretty at five. I think four ship lists will usually like Tim have feature at least one large base. Yeah, as yep. we saw a lot of large bases go down in cost as yep. well. Yep, including Ray, which I was very surprised by. I was like, she's always you know she had been good in this iteration at yep. eight. So yeah, um, great for assault. <laughs> yeah. So of course you know uh, I got. I uh, forgot to do my, my GSP practice here, but Will did a really good job when I was doing the scrub down um, of explaining the scenarios because basically you never know what well, skill level or yeah. interest people have or experience with X-Wing. Scramble, you got those three objectives. I'm going to talk about it 50 minutes into the game. Three of, the, three of those objectives. You take an action, range zero to one of that objective to claim the point uh, or claim the objective. Your opponent can claim it back. Keeps going back and forth, and at the end, you tally up those points. And as in any game in X-Wing now, 20 points, first to 20, or above the highest point co point total wins. And yeah, uh, so that is the only thing that's keeping John, I wouldn't even, it's not definitely not close, but keeping him relatively near the door. He could yeah. be knocking on it if something crazy happens. He's got a Y-Wing at three, three hole. Afra is into the hole, but still very healthy. So, you know, definitely on the back foot here. Uh, yeah, this is what we're at. All right, we got the road roll. There you go. Back to two. Do I have one eyeball? Three roll? All right. Oh, okay. there it is. Okay. One. All one. Right. Oh, we're doing it again. So, it's a tie. Planks. Oh, That's it. Yeah. that is okay. really, really <laughs> trying to You're first player, you get the thing of the doom. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, you... Player. All right, let's see if there's any systems phase. Looks like John spent a charge, so dropping, yep, uh -huh. dropping a bomblet. Uh, and then for my system phase, I will drop my other seismic. And Tim will drop a seismic. And yep. right there next to so drop a seismic there. Gideon. I'm not sure if it reached a rock. It, it, it's going to be close. It's definitely going to hit that gas cloud. Yeah. But he might be able to grab that, uh, that asteroid and kill Gideon before even engagement phase. I mean, Arliss is just like, hey, I'm I'm participating while he's gonna go off and just clear a a stress. Arliss and Afra are the two I think that have done probably the most damage, a surprising amount of damage. Yep. at the very least. All right, so uh, Tarek's roll uh, hit oh, that's is, that is a you get a calc. Yep. Yeah, hit and crit gives you a calc, and then on a eyeball or a blank, you gain a jam token. Uh, Afra not going to clear, just going to bump into, a, make a friendly bump here. Looks like they're just going to eyeball it, which, fair enough. Going to roll for damage. See what we get. You're going to see us for a second. Apologies. Uh, I'll yeah. actually do it later. I didn't realize that was going to happen to you. <laughs> hey. I'm guessing there was no damage on that roll. Didn't get really get to see it because somebody was playing. Somebody with the was camera. playing sure. with the camera. Yeah, I know. That's what I like to do. My free time. All right, we got. What does the hitting's ability do? 
Gideon just jumping in there. His pilot ability? Yeah. Um, while a friendly uh, ship, a small ship at zero to two and small ship. They're discussing so Gideon's it. ability. I don't know that's going to be uh, relevant because that bomblet might kill him. The seismic might kill him. Yeah. That would. It looks like that would be enough for Tim, probably. Yeah. Um, Clear we'll stress. Uh, looks like he's going to jam Dangar. Yeah. I have a gift for you, Nick. I'm saying it over Discord. Oh, wow. I like gifts. Gifts are nice. Thank you. How do you, how do you send it through Discord? You just like I don't know. Hopefully, it's a trillion dollars. Just put it into a, a USB port, shove it in there as hard as you yeah, can, I know and how. send it over. I'll never forget your sports pepper joke, man. Sports pepper. I forgot you, my sports we, pepper. You were joke. doing, you were doing, we were doing TTS commentary, and there was three of us, and you. I think you just couldn't let it go. You kept like being like, well, what makes it a sports pepper? And is it, is it athletic? Does it like to stretch? Does it play basketball? And you just like <laughs> kind of like just kept, and we would talk about, move on and talk about other things, but you kind of just keep going back to the sports pepper. I, and I, I, I definitely a great moment. Cause I, <laughs> you just like, you just like, I think you just found it so funny. I, I need to find this commentary cause I do not remember it. That I sounds said, fun. Why is it sports pepper? <laughs> do you only get it at sports or? <laughs> All right, uh, clearing that last stress, taking a focus with, focus with Malaris. Just going to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to run over that gas cloud next turn. Actually, may not run over that gas cloud because it may just blow up. So, <laughs> Yeah, and you got Lima's full full health. So yeah. Who cares? Uh, should it be here. 16 to 8 now because of that last turn? So we were on turn 6 now. No, uh, no we're... I think we already tallied the point. We did already tally the point. Okay. It is 14 17. All right. Let me back off then. Because it, right, it was we, only a few minutes ago. We got a bomb. Gideon. Dead. Dead. Gideon um, is. He's worth five points? Four points. Gideon dead. Gideon goes down. Puts me at 18. Puts him at 18. There we go. We had it right. We had it right. We did something right. <laughs> All right. Uh, did after take damage? Don't know. All right, Malaris gonna take a damage. Yep. And then also that would mean Lima would take a damage. Yep. I'm not sure if they checked the bomblet on Afra. Yeah. Okay, cool. So beginning engagement, I'm gonna gain that target lock over there. Yep. I'm gonna shoot a mag. Did they check the bomblet at all? Okay. Uh, yeah, they killed uh, Gideon with it. I will spend. The lock. Right. This is the Magpulse Warhead. And then I'll focus for, for three. Focus for three. Yep. Uh, he got the Limakai ability I lock. I will take the one. So you one crit. Take, you so will take a crit. A one crit from a Magpulse. Looks Fuel like leak. a few leak. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to roll check for Dengar first. I got excited. Oh, he's checking for Dengar. Uh, that might okay. affect things. Um, I forgot Dengar, so we're just going to have to roll this all back. Sure. Oh, That's roll, fair. Going to roll it back. Um, okay. So Dengar. Sorry, I got to roll in the box. Yep. That would have been a great roll. Painbot. Greedo. Three. Two hits and a crit after using I Greedo. Mean, um, nice. Spend your focus. focus. Yeah. Okay, so you're fine. The focus is spent. Then we're doing the Magpulse again. Okay, Magpulse yep. forehead redo time. This might... It's, Target lock. Might end up being the go. exact same thing. Yeah. Mal. Yeah, he's going to take um, same. So one crit comes through. Still, like yeah, still the, it's fuel, still it's still the, the same fuel effect. It is the same. So, same so the same effect, deplete, so, all that other stuff. So that's um, why they, they skipped Dengar's so attack because they knew it was just going to have the same result. Yeah. Your five. <laughs> I, it, yeah, but just we all, they, they knew. They just, you know, formality's sake. We'll, yeah. yeah. But anyways. Range three out there. Sure. All right, so range three, just one. Uh, one he edge. should be depleted. So, one yeah. must die. Oh, you're, you're, right. you're depleted. Yep, so re-roll on that. Nothing. Great. Nothing at all. Um, so then that it clears. is... Now we got Scorch taking a shot at Lima Kai as well. He's going to try it. Uh, actually, Lima that's Arlie's, yeah. Arlis, yeah. Uh, Lebo's saying that Lima should have taken two damage instead of just one, except for the bomblet. I'm not... I, I think... I think he's correct. What do you mean? Did he? Uh, instead of one shield up, it should be shields down, I believe. Oh, on uh, Lima. Bro. Uh, I think has a three, but. 
so nothing into our Lees. Yeah, you've got three either. So after has got range so three. So do you? You gain the. You you have a jam on you. You have the jam on yeah, you. Yeah, he's got a jam. Because it didn't get used. Yeah, because I, yeah, oh. I'm gonna then eat that jam because yeah. I can eat yellow he, tokens. Correct. Yellow tokens. He yeah, says I can yellow eat an orange tokens. token. There are no can, yellow tokens. I mean an orange Tim. token. All right, so Tim is uh, spending that token with Uno. our Saxon. Just one. Hey, I take damage anyway. Okay. And Mal takes one so anyway. So that's three points. So not dead. Oh, so it goes to twenty-one. Oh, is that was a third no, then damage. You, no, I get one point, point, and then you get two points. One, one health remaining. Oh, no, oh, she's still alive. Yeah, she's she still alive. Oh, come on. Okay, sure. <laughs> Tim's complaining. <laughs> You're up 18 to 7. Well, I know. It's, so it's 19 to 7? to 9. Yep, 19, 19 to 9. 9. Okay. Yeah. After uh, we count up our <sighs> scenarios This is here. gone. <laughs> A big sigh, because he just wanted the game to yeah, be over. Tim's I think he's like, tired. He's, he's tired of just... I, I get it when when you've beaten up your on your opponent so roughly, and then you're just like, I just don't want to keep playing this because I feel like I'm a bully right now. <laughs> like I, I don't want to be the bad guy. Oh man! <laughs> Come on, Tim. Two for two. Uh, if we have time, at some point, I will kind of break down what's in this kit. I feel like people might want to know that. Yeah, actually, I'm that would be helpful as well. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about the store champ kit. Here again, we're at Good Games Chicago here, so uh, shout out to Good Games. They've been so accommodating every time we want to do an X Wing tournament. They're like, Yeah, take over the whole store, just do whatever you want to do. We're here to help, it's great. Yeah, and they give us Ethernet, which is amazing. So yeah. we're able to do all of this, yeah, because at the at, uh, miniature market, you had Wi Fi and up and down. Yeah, when, when you got a hard line, you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Yeah, Wi Fi is scary because it's just not. It's it can be good enough, especially nowadays. There's a lot of good internet service provider plans, packages, whatever you want to call it. But it's not stable. That's the biggest thing. It will subject to drop out at all times, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So it is 19 to 9 with about 16 minutes and change left in turn 6 as Tim has a commanding and pretty much finishing read yeah. here yeah tim still got the high ground still has he's he standing up there and i think that big sigh was because his back hurts and he's uh, like Gosh, I, I mean i can understand that ready to stop he walked up to the table and he was like can i get a better advantage and i'm like and i was just thinking i'm like well most game stores have these high top war gaming yeah. tables that people play actually on yeah but he's just not used to it because he also is a local with us so yeah. and none of us really used to uh, everything else here is a lot lower yeah my favorite were uh, at a local in St. Louis. They have game night where it is that 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 high war gaming table, but they also have a very sturdy like lip that you can step on that will give you up higher. Yeah. So it you can basically be doing what he's doing, but feel comfortable that you're not standing on a chair or a, a fragile part of the bottom. Being comfy is important when you're playing, especially when you're playing in a tournament. Because man, yeah. I, I remember after LVO, after like my second round, I came back and won against like Vader Defender, and I just laid down on the ground under the table. I'm like, I can't believe I have to play three more rounds of this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so tired. It's it is excruciating. Yeah, and you want to be posture is important because it, it yeah is easy to hurt your back and yeah. so, so stretch, be mindful of your posture when you're playing X Wing. So you know, and hydrate. And yes. eat during your lunch break. Yeah. Eat. Yeah. Shout out to Manny for not eating during his lunch break. He's right next to me up here. <laughs> he refused to eat lunch at Dragonfall, and I'm like, you should eat lunch. And he's like, and then he dropped because he had a migraine. Yeah. <laughs> Hydrate. Get electrolytes. You want to have something with some, some salts in it. You know, make sure that you you stay with it. Yeah. We got. I've got my water here. Uh, I think it's time for Scorchy. No Borch in this list. Borch yeah. is DT seven. I mean, and this is this isn't even the the scorch that we're used to. This isn't the one yeah. that does more damage. This is the one that uh, he can you can spend results to give people strain. I believe. Yeah, it's interesting what he's trying to do with the. I'm not sure if if taking FO bomber scorch is like quote unquote you know the the play. But. I think the ma the main play there is it's three points and he wants a bomber. Yeah. You know, the the other three point bomber is I two, I think, so or maybe I three. So he was trying to keep it a relatively high mm -hmm. initiative. And hey, strain is at an all time power level. Like it's so so good. Uh, we saw it with Notorious for the longest time, just how nasty 
strain can be. All right, so Tim taking the objective, even though he doesn't truly need it. He only needs one point to win, but. Oh, and there it goes. Uh, John taking it back. He's like, you don't get that. Uh, now Dangar just got a one bank. Uh, the center objective. Yeah. Uh, good question. If at the end of the round both players have 20 points, it's the winner is whoever has more. If uh, or uh, sorry, at least 20 points. The winner is whoever has more uh, than that threshold. So 23, 21. The winner would be 23. However, if you tie 20, 20 by the end of time by the or by the 12th round, you must do a. Uh, you must. Uh, uh, I guess it's still there's draws, right? Yeah. Uh, you get a draw. Yeah. If, so you you get a draw. However, I uh, will go off the record as I'm on the record saying that if people decide to do a roll without me knowing, I don't care. Because a draw is basically a loss for both players. In many cases. Especially for these events, because yeah. you have to win every game. Yeah. To uh, play in the final. There goes Malaris just eating. Yeah. All sorts of stuff. Can't really tell what it was, but that is the game. Just lots of crits, and that yeah. is going to finish this off here. We'll just wrap up. Uh, in terms of scenario point, it looks like Tim has two as well, so he's going to get up to at least 24 yep. by the end of this round. Uh, letting Scorch take Scorch shots because maybe could kill Lima and get some points. Uh, spend a lock. That's so two. Two hits. Uh that turns to a blank. Nice. Does two damage to Arliss. Still not enough. Not enough. And I'm alive with one. Yep. I'm alive on one.